Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, the 21st, right around the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, whatever, 24th. Timing is fluid, so let's just see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. Yes, the fingernails are gone. I've decided to, you know, be real. No more fake. So I'm going to let them grow. Right now they look like crap. Oh well. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? They're right around the 21st. Ten of Pentacles. Now there could be... Now tens are completions. A lot of people forget to mention that. But tens are completions. So this could be a change in your family. A change in your home. Uh, it could be the end of a family legacy. It looks like there's some sort of celebration going on here. Um, there's a change in the family dynamics by the looks of things in the near future. Something changing in your family dynamics. Seven of Cups reversed. Now this is clarity. Um, seeing a situation clearly. Becoming clear. Becoming clear of the choice. Becoming clear. No more illusion. Eight of Cups. Saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye to somebody in their family. Okay? It's the Eight of Cups. All right? They are. It's like the saying goodbye, moving out of the home, uh, changing homes. Um, could be a change in the, in the what is it, the hierar hierarchy? Um, there is definitely a change. Somebody is walking away. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. King of Cups. A five of cups reversed. Realizing, realizing, and this is reversed. This is this is seriously somebody's leaving. And we talk about this a lot. I mean, the five of cups reversed. This is literally moving on. It's like done. I'm done focusing. I'm done focusing on the past. Focusing on the future now. So somebody is literally. It's like you know what? Keep it or. I don't even want to be a part of this family anymore. And I'm sorry to say that, but this is the end of, this could be family, this could be children leaving. It could be a wife leaving, a husband leaving. It could be, it could be uh, somebody moving in, whatever. It's a change in the family dynamics. Um, seeing clearly, seeing, and this is letting bygones be bygones. Somebody is seeing clearly that it's time to move on and focus on the future. That Eight of Cups is is uh, not wanting to be involved, not wanting to be involved with somebody anymore. It's choosing to just walk away. Somebody is walking away. The Lovers Reverse from a false contract. Somebody is walking away from a false contract. They can see clearly that this was based on fantasy. They can see clearly that it's not compatible. And they probably realize that they have another choice. They realize that they have a better choice. So somebody is choosing. They're choosing to walk away from a situation that they were once committed to. They're choosing to. This is the choice. It's like this is not compatible. It's not realistic. It's not, it's not what I want. It's really not what I want. It was based on some sort of illusion. It was. Or some sort of... Uh, it was a poor choice. Somebody made a poor choice to get themselves involved in a false contract. And now they're leaving it. They're leaving the false contract. Because it's like they're not even attracted to it. They just realize... Because this is realizing it's not meant to be. So they're saying goodbye because I think this person's heart is someplace else. Because this is the King of Cups, which is a very, which is very heartfelt. So this person is following their heart, and this person is turning their back on somebody, on something, somebody that they probably lived with at one point. Maybe this person moved in or whatever, and it's just like my heart isn't here. My heart isn't here. Five of Swords reversed. So somebody may have been haunted. Maybe they were haunted by the past. They were haunted. Maybe they're, they're dealing with the sins of the past and now they can't sleep at night. It feels like their demons are after them. They're being chased. They're being chased by the past. That's what it feels like to me. I feel like uh, you need to expect the unexpected because things are changing. Like somebody is changing. It's like they've, they, they have... It's like their heart is now more... What their heart wants is more important. 
So I feel like we have somebody here that has hurt another person. They have betrayed another person. You know, it's the Five of Swords. It's one of my most hated cards. It's where we get this egotistical jerk who doesn't care who they hurt and knocks somebody down and just basically doesn't care, has no remorse. But this is in reverse. Somebody may now be starting to feel some remorse for hurting somebody. Maybe they've been haunted. Maybe maybe whatever they have done has come back to haunt them. Um, I do feel as though somebody is choosing to deal with their demons or to deal with their their fears and this may even be fear of commitment fear of marriage maybe maybe that was a problem here um i feel like there could be a reunion as well i think there could be a reunion that is coming up because it feels like somebody may be wanting to go back it's like they want to go back to somebody that they hurt by the looks of things they may they may be asking for forgiveness and i don't know where that is coming from it's just coming out of my mouth um I feel like there is some sort of disharmony or a disconnection within a partnership and somebody is choosing to walk away from it. It's like they see clearly that this isn't, this isn't what I want. This really isn't what I want. So I, I feel like that is what's happening. Um, and they want to go back. It's like they want to go back. And I think that somebody is, is, this is getting hurt in the process obviously i do feel like we have somebody that is getting hurt in the process this the person that got involved was probably uh filled with some sort of fantasy you know filled with a with some sort of disillusionment and now this person is also distraught so i think there's a couple people that have been hurt in this situation um five 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 expect the unexpected Okay, it's time for personal freedom. It's time somebody's making a choice, and it is a big one. They are being divinely guided. This is the Hierophant to do so. It's like somebody from above is is causing a change within a relationship. Okay, they're ch causing a change within a relationship that's not compatible, and I think that they are doing that. They're they are guiding this person in a new direction because there's probably. A soul connection someplace else obviously but they have to leave behind the false contract before they get into the commitment and I knew that it had something to do with commitment I think that we have somebody here that was fearful of commitment they were fearful of marriage or something and maybe they got themselves involved in a you know a false relationship based on you know illusion because you know it was to have something to fill a void and it's like now they realize now they realize where their heart is so i feel like there's there could definitely be a reunion for some of you uh, i think there's divine guidance here i think that there's a higher power that is bringing two people together that are meant to be together but in order for those people to come together there has to be a separation there's going to be a separation, okay, with the with the Eight of Cups and the Lovers reversed. There's going to be a separation from the, you know, uh, wrong choice, okay? There is. And I think that there's going to be a new a family dynamic that is beginning and another one is ending. So with endings, there's new beginnings. So I think that we have a, a completion because tens are completion. So it's like one one cycle ends and a new cycle begins and this all has to do with the heart it's what the heart wants it's like um you know the five of the five of uh swords reverse can be you know working together it can be you know peace you know let's let's make peace it can be a truce um somebody may be feeling defeated you know and and now they want to work together um, somebody may have been also humiliated they may have been humiliated by their past mistakes you know when you make mistakes everybody sees it you may not think that they do but they do so uh, anyway with these fives I think that you really need to expect the unexpected somebody may be wanting to come back they may be asking for forgiveness they may they may or may not I do feel like there's a higher power involved um, that is definitely causing a split nine of cups because wish fulfillment this is all about wish fulfillment it's all about happiness it's about having it all 
So I feel like, um, I mean, Nine of Cups. Somebody has been wanting something more. And it's like they've probably been praying. I think that we have somebody here that has been praying. They've been praying for happiness or they've been praying for something. They've been praying for love. They've been praying. And maybe they were doing it subconsciously. Either way, this is the answer to your prayers. Somebody's prayers are being answered. Okay? Because this is your wish. And this is like a higher power answering your prayers. So somebody's prayers are being answered. And, but... I mean, with the lovers reversed, there's been a false contract. But this false contract is ending, okay? And perhaps that's the answer to your prayer. Somebody's coming out of disillusionment. And they may be coming back. And I don't want to get people's hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. I mean, don't get your hopes up. But um, I feel like for some of you, there could be a reunion. And there's so, some of you, there could be a reunion of some sort. There could. Um... We do have somebody here that is looking for a relationship and they're looking for love. And it's like they want to have it all. They don't want to just have this mediocre love. They want to have it all. And it's mar it leads, it's like they're looking for marriage. It's like they want to get married. They're looking for a long-term commitment. So I feel as though there could be a confession. There could be a confession that is coming up. judgment <laughs> and that could absolutely be a confession that is the truth coming out truths being revealed now karma I remember I said haunted by your past and I said it right here somebody may have received you know some karma and a, a karma will certainly wake a person up and so and this is also a card of forgiveness it, and this could be a card of reconciliation this just clarified everything I said so it feels as though somebody may be coming back asking for forgiveness. Maybe they've gotten some sort of epiphany or some sort of a wake-up call. You know, or they've went through some sort of awakening of their own. And now they realize what love is. Now, reconciliation can be with somebody from the pa past life. And especially with the judgment card. That could be somebody that you knew in a previous lifetime. Or somebody, you know that you have met before it could be even be in this lifetime there could definitely be a reconciliation here between two people that are meant to be together and there's and remember i said peace talks and rainbows are a symbol of peace crazy so anyway it's like there's this is like a peaceful resolution coming up somebody acts in a kind-hearted manner they express themselves in a loving manner and it brings peace to a situation so there could be a reunification of a, a family member. Somebody comes back. Something something like that. Um, there could also be a new love. This could be a new love, but it's somebody that you have met before. Okay? And maybe this was some a karmic from a past life that you, you know, are coming to deal with in this lifetime. Okay? Because past lives are real. All right. So I do feel like demons or sins of the past are coming back to haunt you. Maybe you got to deal with this now. This is a judgment. Judgment is, you know, judgment day. It's, it's about making a judgment call. This is also an awakening. So be prepared for some some sort uh, somebody has gone through some sort of awakening. This is I mean, also if you think about this, I mean, if you take a look at this card, this could be somebody that is um You know, there's going to be a change in the family unit. Somebody could honestly pass away. I'm just going to be honest with you. Somebody could pass away, and that's what changes the family uh, unit, okay? So just be prepared for that. Um, somebody is definitely saying goodbye to a false contract. Saying goodbye to a false contract in search for extreme happiness. It's like God is here. There's a higher power. Your prayers have been answered. It's time to live again. This could be a resurrection. It could be absolution. It could be transcendence. Either way, this is some sort of... Uh, absolution. Absolution. 
it's the end of a very tense situation because there's, there's tension here in both of these cards, okay? It's the end of it. Somebody is about to follow their heart to a better place. They've received the awakening, they've received the information, they've, they see the truth, and they know where they need to go. It's like they're letting their heart lead the way. I do feel like there's going to be a celebration in the future, though, as well. I think there's going to be a celebration Expect the unexpected. Somebody is leaving a false contract and they're following their heart to a new destination. Good luck. <laughs>